from Don Millie. It was purchased on Amazon. Um, this company sent this wig to me. I want to say it cost about $33. Okay, so backstory. I told y'all last video that I've been struggling with really bad migraines. And I was sent this wig a long time ago. I'm not even going to lie. Like, my head has been really messing with me in a lot of aspects it's been really hard for me to focus on school on youtube so i'm going to be combining two videos kind of today so please bear with me again this hair is from don millie this is supposed to be a six inch afro i do not believe this is six inches even stretched out this there's no way this is six inches however this is a look that you like you could definitely make it work i was surprised how it looked when I got it, because I did see the picture before it was sent to me, um, I did my big chop. Um, if you have been following me, you've seen my big chop, you've seen my real hair or something at some point. So you know that I've had my hair at this length to a certain extent at some point in life. So I, even though I was shocked that this was going to be this length, I know how to work with hair this length. So I'm going to show you all how to style hair this length. So I'm combining this video with a review for a ring light that was sent to me. I'm going to insert a picture somewhere on the screen and I'm going to talk to you about it. This ring light was sent to me by Rob Top. I think that's how you say it. If I said it wrong, I'll have the name somewhere on the screen. Um, this is a ring light that sits on your desk and it comes with, I think, three different settings and it comes with a little clicker. It was only $19.99. With this light, there are three colors. I'm going to show you the colors real quick. Okay, so this is the white color I have on right now. This is like the, I guess, the yellowish white. And this is white again. Hold on. Okay, this one is like the whitest white. This one is like the yellowish white. And this is like, I guess, regular white. And this is like the brightest white. Okay. And you can go up in brightest. This is the brightest it goes. This is um, the lowest it goes. I'm gonna turn it back up. And that, this is off of the cord that is attached to it. They give you a clicker, and the clicker is compatible with iPhone and Android. So I'm already filming, so I'm not gonna press it, but if I wasn't filming, I can click this, whether I'm taking a picture or doing a video, and it would start or stop whatever I was doing. And depending on what you're doing, you can make it so you can't see it. And then boom, you took your picture or your video effortlessly. You don't need any help. Really convenient. So it's a really cool ring light. If you're interested, I'll put the link below. But if not, let's get back to this wig. One thing about this wig, it is another, um, I guess, glueless wig. Like the wig that I reviewed last time with the bob and the um, bangs. It doesn't have any kind of lace in the front, so you just kind of basically just throw it on. Um, that is very convenient, however, that means you don't have any parting anywhere. I usually, when my hair was this length, I would part my hair like right here, do a part somewhere, and then just flick my edges back. But because the way this wig is constructed, you can't necessarily do that. This is nothing but regular water. Okay, so this hair, you can tell, is definitely human hair because it is definitely curling up with, it is curling up with water and product. Okay, sorry, somebody called me. So, um, the hair looks like it's dry a little bit. It's so weird because this is really like what my teeny weeny afro experience was like, um, except for my curls were a little tighter. Other than the lack of parting that's really bothering me is this piece of hair right here because no one would have that long of hair right there. Let me get close to it so it don't fall all over me. Okay, that was working my nerves. Okay, so cutting it short. Okay, let me do it on this other side too. I kind of put a part in here when I was on the phone and not sure how I feel about it. I thought about putting some makeup in the part to like create a part. I'm gonna try it real quick. I'm gonna see how it looks. I'm not gonna do a lot. That way if it doesn't look good, I can just like wipe it out. So I went in with the powder that I've been using in all my videos, the Maybelline Fit Me. 
I just put it on the part so that it looked like it was blending in with my skin and not just a parting on a neck. If I could find a picture, which I'm pretty sure I can, if I could find a picture of how I would style my hair when it was about this length, I'll put it somewhere, probably like right here, and I'll show you what I'm trying to do with this wig. Um, the hair itself would resemble, I'm trying to think what curl pattern would that be, the really loose one, the real big curls one. The main thing that I was doing with my hair at the time, I would flick my edges back on both sides and do my edges and just have my hair curly in the back. Um, I'm going to do that. I used to do that with Got To Be Glued. What I'm going to do is, since I've already flicked down one side, I'm going to try my best to flick this down to a certain extent. I think this wig is how it's advertised, except for the length. Um, like I said, there's no way this is six inches. And this wig is definitely workable as long as you know what you're getting. So videos like this where people, you know, try the product first before you do, very helpful. I can definitely see this wig being really cute on somebody. And, you know, especially if you're thinking about doing a big chop, this would be a perfect wig for trying out if you think about doing your big chop. I'm going to turn this into a video on how to do a head wrap on a TWA. I'm going to put some gel on the perimeter of this hair since I've already gelled down the edges. Okay, so wait a second, hold on. I wanted things away so bad. I didn't know how to do them. Okay, this is cute. Um, if you can, leave a little bit of your edges out there. Oh, this is cute. The little Betty Boop vibes. Okay. So I know y'all are probably wondering how did I jump to this. So I did a different style and it went terribly wrong and I was about to give up. But then as I did this, I got an idea. If you're interested in this look, I do have a full video of how to do this look with the t-shirt. Um, I'll link that somewhere in the cards. But you will see how this video ends up. And just stay tuned. Be patient. You'll be surprised. Well, in this part of the video, I'll be able to show you how to fake finger waves. Um, when I cut my hair, I just knew I was going to do finger waves, but I could not. It was, it's not as easy as it looks. People on YouTube, they take a comb and they be like, and then boom, they're done. They can do the whole head. I'm like, how? So I'm going to show y'all what I did on this side. Complete accident. We're not going to talk about what happened that got me to this point. We're just going to move on. So... This side, I didn't do it, so we'll talk about it. So I'm gonna get a little closer, and then I'll try to show you on this side. So as you see, it looks like a slight thing of wave is going on under here. Well, this wave is a little up a little bit. Um. Okay. So with this side, I'm gonna show y'all. Attempt to show y'all what I did. So. It started out, I was hooping this back and it just wasn't looking right and a piece was sticking out. So I took a pin and I pushed it back and that's what created this little right here. And then I was like, well, I might as well do it here because if not, it's going to look weird. So this side is cooperating. It's just like my real hair. One side cooperates and the other doesn't. So what you do is you're going to take some bobby pins. So what I did was I went and I hooped it like I would some edges. So, you see 
here that's right here. Okay, so I took a bobby pin where that little hoop for the end. And let me lift up my shirt so you can see where I'm going. And I just push it up and it creates a little loop. Okay. So then I'm going to do the exact same thing. Um, because of my parting, I'm not going to have three on this side. I'm going to just have two. So you take the hair, you create another deep swoop. Um, yeah, you're going to swoop it. This is how I always do my edges. So this is just a natural movement to me. There's no other way to explain it other than to swoop it. <laughs> okay, so I swooped it and it's going like this. I hope you can see it. Um, this is that one piece of hair that's like stray. So maybe I can push it up. Let me see. Let me push it up a little bit. Okay, that's my hair, actually. <laughs> so I'm gonna take my body pin at the end, lift up my shirt. I don't know if you can see that. And then just push it up again, and it's gonna create the end of that that loop. And now you got your own little man-made fake finger waves. Um, because of the wrap, I'm not even gonna worry about trying to create a part. The part down a little bit. Oops. Okay, part down just a little bit. Okay. Um, if you're doing it and it seems like you didn't get all the pieces, take another body pin. I think I have like two body pins on this piece right here. If your hair was straight underneath this, nobody would know because they're only going to see this. If your hair was straight, you could definitely still pull this loop off and you could have a fake finger wave. Um, thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I'll leave the details of this wig below. I do have another video that I definitely have to do. It's a long overdue as well. Um... I'm gonna put it out on Saturday. Do it. Thank you for watching. Bye.